Our next guest, Frady Reese's TED Talk, was seen by half a million people where she opens up about being a young woman forced into a marriage. Her life story of being forced by her own family to marry a man she barely knew awakened a conversation in this country. In almost every state, children under the age of 18 can be legally married with the permission of their mother, father, or guardian, and a judge, but many of those marriages are forced. And for Frady, it was a dangerous marriage. Take a look. Let's talk about discovering that your new husband is violent. For me, it meant cowering in terrified silence. The first time he punched his fist through the wall in a blind rage, only one week after our wedding. The first time he threatened to kill me, only days later. That's part of our story here to tell us more is Frady Reese. Frady, you were part of the ultra-Orthodox Jewish community. By no means does that equate brutality or forced marriage, but in your case, it did. How did you end up the victim of this? And I think a lot of people would agree with me. We didn't know it was existing. I think it's numbers in this country. Yeah, it's, it's upsetting and shocking, but unfortunately, very much the norm in a lot of communities across the United States. For me, I was groomed basically from infancy to become a wife and a mother. I was never given a choice about whether or when I was going to marry. That was just a given. I always knew that my family would arrange a match for me as soon as a, a matchmaker found the right match for me. Uh, that could be either in high school or soon thereafter. And I was never, it was a lot to go on these so-called dates with You're a him. baby in this picture. I'm looking at your wedding picture here. If we can, I don't even know what to call it a wedding. Now that I know this backstory, you were a baby. Uh, I was 19. I was a very clueless 19-year-old virgin, yes. And you found yourself trapped. And in many cases, we hope that your parents would be the ally to help you out. But they were a part of this. And that's the unfortunate thing in a forced marriage is the, the, at the organization that I have founded, Unchained at Last, to help women and girls across the U.S. escape forced marriages. Again and again, we see when someone here in the U.S. is forced to marry, the perpetrators are almost always the parents. And that betrayal makes it so much more difficult to leave and uh, it makes it almost impossible because the people who are supposed to be there to help you are the ones who are forcing you into it. How did you get out? I know your family disowned you. You had no credit cards, no money. Everything that people think you need to get out, you didn't have that, but somehow you managed to do it. How? Well, and that's the thing that people don't realize. If you have limited or no choice entering a marriage, you probably have limited or no choice about leaving the marriage. So in my case, as you said, I had no financial rights. I was not allowed to work. I was not allowed to have my own bank account or credit card. I was completely financially dependent on my husband. I did not have reproductive rights. I was not allowed to use birth control and I was required to have unprotected sex with my husband. My first child was born 11 months after my wedding and uh, pretty soon I had two. I also had limited legal rights. In the ultra-Orthodox Jewish community, a man is allowed to divorce his wife but a woman is not allowed to divorce her husband. I didn't even have the legal right to end my own marriage. How did you get out? I got out by at age 27 when I realized that my family, my community were not going to help me. I became the first person in my family to go to college. And so while I grew up in Brooklyn, I at that point, we had moved to New Jersey. So I went to Rutgers University. I graduated at 32 and then I uh, got a job as a reporter. They let you get go to college? They did not let. No. This was my way of defying the entire community. Nobody in my family, man or woman, had ever gone to college. Yeah. And I defied them and went to college. And as soon as I graduated and got a job, I changed the locks and filed for divorce. And my family shunned me. 